Hello everyone and welcome back to the Chupacabra's Lair. And today we're going to be taking a look at how to install Minecraft Forge 1.6.4. And as of this recording, that would have been the most recent version of Minecraft Forge. But all of them follow roughly the same idea. And after this episode is done, in the next couple of days, I will show you how to install Minecraft Forge on the server that you've bought from some hosting company somewhere. And so the first thing we have to do is open up Minecraft and play it at least once on 1.6.4 so that Forge Installer can do its thing. So I'm logged in as Alcott Cirque, and the first thing I want to do is I want to go down here underneath the pull down and hit Edit Profile. So you don't need to really edit the name unless you want to save the profile as something new and create a copy of it because you want to be able to easily switch between versions. So what happens is down here near this pull down is where you select the different versions and it will start on use the latest version and you want to come down here to release version 1.6.4 and then click save profile. Boot it up, play around in a random world, it doesn't really matter what you do as long as you're loading in and doing stuff making sure that 1.6.4 is installed and then you want to close that and you want to go down to your little search bar here and go percent app data percent and that will take you to where minecraft is installed now you don't really need this immediately that'll come in handy in a moment so next we need the minecraft installer and i will add this link to the description but you go up here to the Minecraft Forge downloads page and you go down here to downloads 1.6.4 downloads and you just grab the latest version and you just download this installer and then we go from there so once we've got the installer we double click it it's pretty simple stuff and we say install client typically it will go right to where your Minecraft is installed unless you install it in some funny place then you can re you can click this button here and redirect it but I doubt many people are doing that unless you're installing the server. But we'll do that next time. So just click yes, and it'll do its thing and download excitingly. Takes a moment. It's got to download all the goodies off the internet. And then we'll go from there. All right. Once you're done, it'll say it successfully installed and it grabbed some files. You want it to say it grabbed some files. I don't always know how many. When I did it just now, it installed two required libraries, but generally, as long as it doesn't say zero, you're good to go. And so once that's done, you double-click Minecraft, run it. It logs you in excitingly. And then here's how this works now. In order to play as Minecraft Forge, you have to go down to Profile, Pull the down the pull down menu and click forge and then you'll have to sign back in in order to use your account and then you're ready to roll with minecraft forge once you've re-logged in and signed in so here's where the nitty-gritty comes in i have this little box here full of mods and these are all the minecraft forge mods that i have downloaded to use in either our galacticraft episode or our Christmas craft episode and I won't list all of these in this game description but when we do start playing those I will list those mods in the descriptions of those videos but pretty much what you do is you just get all the mods that you want to install with Minecraft Forge and you put them in a folder called mods lowercase and then you go to that app data folder that I showed you before and in here oh look at the top dot Minecraft we go in here, and this is all of our good stuff. We just take this buck, bucket of mods, and we just dump it right in there like that, and you're done. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Um, if you do need help with any of this, if you need some clarification, please feel free to leave me a message in the comments. I can't promise that I'll be able to help everybody troubleshoot everything, but I've run into a few problems when learning this myself. And I might be able to kind of give you some tips or clarify any details about this video. Um, some side notes, you might need to reinstall all of this at some point. So just save your mods file. Nothing is saved in here but like the mod APIs themselves. And then just reinstall Forge with a fresh Minecraft installation and it should work just fine. I have no idea why it randomly does that, but periodically Forge just poops the bed and you need to just reinstall. Go figure. I believe that's all for right now. So ta-ta! <laughs>